What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, it looks like the judge down in Baltimore really has a thing out for Javante Tank Davis. Now, again, am I excusing Javante Tank Davis for his actions in, this, in the chain of events that took place? No. But you ruled on Javante Tank Davis already. Javante Tank Davis undefeated three division five time world champion superstar boxer who is widely acknowledged as one of the faces, if not the face of the sport of boxing. Javante Tank Davis has a record of 29 wins, no losses, no draws. He has um, 27 big wins by way of knockout, 29 years of age, five foot five with a 67 inch arm each. He's an explosive southpaw that has a lot of power, obviously, but has a lot of boxing skills. He made a mistake, okay? Whether some people want to admit it's a mistake or it wasn't a mistake, he's reckless, whatever. The ruling already came down. The ruling already came down, okay? She already ruled that he had to do community service, that he had to, you know, um, he had to, you know, serve 90 days house arrest, 30 days he did. He don't own a home there, so he was staying at the four seasons she wasn't happy that he was doing his house arrest and the four seasons then she ordered him to go uh go to actual jail he went to jail he served his time he came out doing his community service and she's still trying to restrict javante tank davis right she's not trying to ease up on the restrictions that javante tank davis has right and Javante Tank Davis, he posted that she's not allowing him to, you know, train. Uh, she's not allowing him to prepare for an upcoming fight. That's holding up his announcement with his next fight and where he can fight and, you know, his whereabouts. Uh, Javante Tank Davis, as you can see in the photo, still has an ankle monitor on. Uh, so she's monitoring where he goes. But you can have an ankle monitor on, be monitored, and still be able to travel. I know, for instance, Little Boosie is one. Little Boosie has an ankle monitor on, but the judge allows Little Boosie to make a living because he has to travel to do what? Make a living. So the judge allows Javante Tank Davis, should, should allow Javante Tank Davis to do what? Make a living. He has to fight to make a living. Again, this judge stated that Javante Tank Davis showed no remorse for his uh, actions and that because he didn't show any remorse and he didn't apologize is what she stated, you know, um, that he needed to be punished. But you rule 90 days house arrest. It seems like this judge was allegedly told because Javante Tank Davis brings a lot of money to the city. He's a celebrity athlete. It seems like this judge wanted to rule and give Javante Tank Davis more time than he actually received. And, you know, allegedly, I'm going to keep saying allegedly, and was, you know, uh, you know, um, directed to not do so. <laughs> and Javante Tank Davis was given 90 days house arrest. Clearly, this judge wants to stick it to him, right? And if that was the case, then you should have did it from the beginning. But now, and and I'm not speaking just as a fan. Yes, I'm a fan of the sport of boxing. And yes, I want to see Javante Tank Davis compete in the sport of boxing. And yes, Javante Tank Davis definitely, you know, um, should have, you know, um, not have been involved in that situation. Period. Right? But if you're going to if you're going to uh, uh, stick it to him, right? If you're going to want to if you have an issue with who he is and how he is, then she should have just gave him the time that she wanted to give him. Period. Right? So this is what Javante Tank Davis said. 
quote, I'm just setting up my kids for the future so they can take care of me when I'm older. Uh, slick, happy, I had daughters, right? So this is what Javante Tank Davis is stating that, you know, he's just building for the future, right? Um, now, <clears throat> Coach Calvin said that it's a possibility that we could see Javante Tank Davis in the end of February. As I told you guys, the target date, it seems to be, is March, okay? That, that That's the target date that they wanna uh, <clears throat> have Javante Tank Davis back in the ring in March. And um, the opponent is up in the air, right? There's a thousand speculations on what opponent Javante Tank Davis is actually gonna face off against. Um, but this is what Javante Tank Davis had to say regarding the judge, right? <clears throat> he said, this judge will not let me go go home to spend uh, Christmas with my kids or start to train for camp. Um, the judge, he says, uh, I completely, I completed everything that I supposed to. This lady have something against me. I don't know why, end quote. <clears throat> So he's saying that she won't even let him go home for Christmas to see his kids. Um, and she's forcing Javante Tank Davis to essentially fight in Baltimore. That's what she's trying to do. She's forcing Javante Tank Davis to have to fight in Baltimore. It's gonna bring up the economy, right? Because he's a massive draw. Uh, uh, she, and, and because he can't leave to go to camp, and obviously, if he can't leave and go in camp, then how is he going to leave to have a fight? Which means, in return, it's more than likely going to see Javante Tank Davis have to fight in Baltimore. And he recently made the statement, I'm never fighting in Baltimore again. That's what he just recently stated. He made the statement, I'm never fighting in Baltimore again. Right? Um, unfortunately, because the way he's being treated and the things that have taken place there. He don't want to put himself in harm's way. So he stated that I'm not fighting in Baltimore again. It looks like this judge has other plans. Uh, unless she's going to give him an exempt to be able to, he's going to have to train open training camp. Now he trains in uh, uh, in Baltimore at Upton Gym, but now Javante Tank Davis whereabouts as a celebrity athlete, not just because things he's involved in, but just because it's just not safe for celebrity athletes. Celebrities overall, for people to be able to know their whereabouts. It's just not it's just not safe, right? And so it ain't cool for people to know where Javante Tank Davis is at all times. Whether he has security or not, it's just not. So it seems like, you know, this judge is going to try to force Javante Tank Davis to have his next fight. Because, I mean, he could set up a camp in Baltimore. He has the money to do it. But it's just not convenient for, you know, what he's what he wants to do. He wants to train in Las Vegas or wherever he sets up his training camp. I know it was one point in time it was in Florida. He wants to set up his training camp and be able to train properly. And again, if he served his time and he's fulfilled all his obligations that was handed down to him, why is he continuously still have to jump through hoops and hurdles to make a fight? I mean, Javante Tate Davis has money. I don't know what his his legal team is going through or but something has to give. This is this is becoming seriously out outlandish. It's, it's getting really ridiculous at this point in time. And Javante Tate Davis team something has to give but it seems like uh so coach calvin said that you know late february he's about to start setting up camp coach calvin said he's about to start setting up camp and he said it could be late february I, i've been told that it's going to be march on numerous occasions so it looks like it's going to be march that we're going to see javante tank davis back in the ring in march so we got to see how this is going to unfold and play out right um as far as opponents goes, 
you know, I've been told it was going to be Isaac Cruz. I've been told it was going to be, you know, um, Edwin Dallas Santos. So many different names are, are, are floating around. But nonetheless, it seems like the judge is trying to force Javante Tank Davis into a fight in Baltimore. That's what it seems like to me. To bring up the economy. And that's all I got for y'all. Let's see how this unfolds and plays out. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, signing off. I'm going. Peace.